Hi friends and welcome to the Paul Lovers. I'm happy to see you here for new Paul adventures. Today, we do meet again to practice a rotating entry through an emblematic pole dancing trick I named the Open V. This tutorial will first remind you of the basics of the Open V, then the step-by-step -step entries on static and spinning pole. Finally, we will learn how to execute this figure as gracefully as possible while avoiding the most common mistakes. With no further delay, I see you then on the pole. The open V is an aerial trick that mostly requires strength, flexibility and body coordination. Let's study again the open V from the floor until the arrival position. To understand better the different dynamics of this move, here is a slow motion open V. Against the pole, hold tightly the pole with your armpit and pass your hips against the pole. Observe the opposition of strength in this move. Your torso is pushing forward, while your hips are pushing backward. Grip the pole with your inside hand close to the lower part of your face, and then place your external hand above. Lock the position by bringing your elbows closer. To lead to the open V inversion, Synchronize the knee thrust to lift the hips, the back orientation of the head and the extension of your arms. In the second part, open the legs wide apart and stretch them in points toward the floor. This will place your hips against the pole and keep your back upright. Finally, open your chest. Stretch your head towards the floor and continue stretching your body during the figure. A few more seconds spent perfecting the contours of your figure will allow you to apprehend it more deeply and give it an ever more aerial appearance. If you wish to go deeper through the technical aspect, I invite you to click on the card at the top of the video to watch at the Open V tutorial from the pole dancing playlist. Step 1. Generate the rotation. On static pole, to create the rotation, you must first move away from the pole and then move quickly towards it. For example, generate a rond de jambe that pulls your body out while your hands are pulling inward. Place yourself next to the pole and position your inner and eye. Your external leg and hand are positioned in the back, ready to initiate the rotation move. Your main goal, since we want to enter the open V, is to make sure to place the flank or the inner armpit against the pole. At the same time, bring your elbows closer to look the position. Train this position first with the external leg bent and the inside leg straight. Then with both knees bent. Step 2. Perfect your abdominal work. As in step 1, to induce the rotation, position and lock your lift against the pole. At the same time, lift your knees up to your chest. Perform this motion as you wanted to get into a ball. This way, you will find that your hips and legs are in parallel position to the floor. Continuing the knee thrust, the next step is to extend the internal leg while holding it as high as possible. Continuing again with the extended internal leg, extend then your external leg. 
This position you in the spike figure. You are very close to the open V. Once you feel more comfortable with these different steps, help yourself with the knee thrust or with your inside leg to act as a lever to the back. At the same time, swing back while stretching your arm. You are finally in your open V. Step 3. Adjust your hands pressure. Since you must maintain the rotation by the force of your momentum, you need to adjust the pressure of your hands once the rotation begins. It is normal that you lose eight when rotating, especially if you want to extend it the longest possible. Of course, your whole body must move in the direction of the movement. Maintain a total muscle commitment as well as your concentration until the end. Just like the open V on static pole, execute a moderate rond de jambe to allow you to propel yourself up high than outside of the pole. Indeed, it takes a lot of strength to bring back the body to the pole while it is in full rotation. The effect of the rotation can disorient and make the lift and the invert more difficult. To apprehend this move differently, keep a calm and constant breath. Take your time to deploy your move. Stay relaxed. Keep your face open and even smiling. Let the effort pass and reinforce your body through your resistance over the time. The let go and visualization notions are pertinent to train efficiently. Close your eyes and imagine yourself making your figure easily and smoothly. Imagine it any time during the day, as well as during the execution of the figure. How to make a graceful and smooth open V? Consider running your open V in slow motion and deploying it all smoothly during the movement. Break your move down fluidly while synchronizing the motion steps from the first part. Extend the leg, stretch them to their maximum. Open your chest while pushing your head toward the floor. The more time you take to execute it, the more you allow the eyes to observe each step where your body pass in fluidity. A tip, think slow motion. Record yourself and use the slow motion option from your video application. Observe the time it takes you to deploy a leg. To that time, add a bunch of extra seconds. So then, integrate this movement in slow motion and try to reproduce it for real. This will require you to improve your stamina and strengthen yourself at all levels. You will thus be able to achieve the lightness and fluidity of aerial figures, which are defined graceful. Static pole. Do not throw yourself to the pole. Indeed, to gain momentum and create the aerial look of the entrance of the open V, think about making an external rond de jambe to quickly go back inside against the pole. If you project yourself directly to the pole, you will not generate any momentum to enter the rotation. Don't squeeze your hands too hard on the pole. Leave some soft so that your hands can turn around the pole. If you grip too hard, you may stop the momentum. Spinning pole. Do not squeeze your body 
don't make any faces. Send a positive message to yourself and your audience. Your movement will be more difficult if your face is closed, tense, and if your body isn't stretched. Even if this figure can be difficult and require a lot of energy, remember to let your body go as relaxed as possible. Well, dear friends, thank you for staying with me to learn together this emblematic figure that is the open V. I don't say this often, and yes, it's a must. Warm up your body properly before you attempt any figure on the pole. By the way, this could be a tutorial idea to offer you a pole warm-up, and if you are interested, let me know. In the meantime, I wish you a pleasant and progressive practice of your open V. Share your experience with us in the comments. Stay active, creative, and I will see you soon for a new video.